In this video, I will show you how to track form submissions when the form success message is displayed. We will do that with the element visibility trigger in Google Tag Manager. Here I have a demo page with the form. So first I will submit it to see if it shows a success page after the successful submission. So I will fill in all the form fields, click send message, and the page does not reload and I see this success message. I can do the right click, then inspect. And here I would expect to see something like maybe a class that is related to a successful form submission or maybe some ID. And in this case, I see that there is a success message and it is a child of an element with a class success. So basically I could track with Google Tag Manager when the element with this particular class appears on the screen. This can be done with a trigger called element visibility. So let's go to Google Tag Manager, then triggers and click new, then click trigger configuration and select element visibility. Here we can select elements by ID or by a CSS selector. In this case, our success message does not have an ID, therefore we will use CSS selector. CSS selectors are a particular syntax that allow you to pick elements based on their IDs, their types, their classes, and so on. So if you want to target an element based on its class, then it should start with a dot and then the name of the class. In our case, that class is success. So dot success in CSS means that we are going to look for those elements that have this particular class. I talk much more about CSS selectors in my intermediate slash advanced Google Tag Manager course. Then we want to track this once per page. And even if one little part of the success message is displayed on a screen, we want to track it. Therefore, we will be looking for 1% visible. And then since our success message just appears out of nowhere, we are going to select observe DOM changes. So the trigger is configured. Now let's name this and click save. Now we need to test if this trigger works properly. So click preview and then in the preview mode, enter the URL of the website where we have that form. So I will enter this URL and click connect. The preview mode is connected and now I will submit the form and click send message. The success message appeared and in the preview mode, we see the element visibility trigger. This event was dispatched by our trigger. So if you see the event right here, it means that your setup is correct. Now we need to send an event to Google Analytics 4. In my Google Tag Manager container, I have the basic GA4 setup, which is just this one tag. Inside this tag, I have inserted my measurement ID. If you want to learn how to install Google Analytics 4 on a website, then I will post a link to a tutorial below the video. So watch that first. And once you have installed the basic GA4 setup, then continue with this tutorial. So after you have installed Google Analytics on a website, let's create an event tag, which will send the form submission event to Google Analytics 4. In the tags section, click new, tag configuration, and then click Google Analytics GA4 event. Here we should insert the measurement ID. You can find it by going to your admin panel, then data collection, data streams, select your website data stream, and then copy this part right here, and then paste it right here. Alternatively, you could use a constant variable that contains this measurement ID and you can insert the variable in this field. It will also work just fine. However, just for sake of demonstration right now, I will be just simply pasting the measurement ID here. Then we need to come up with the event name. You can use a recommended event name, which is called generate lead, or you can name this something like that. In this case, our success message did not have any form ID or we cannot see the form ID anywhere right here. Therefore, we are just going to send the event name. In your reports, you will be able to distinguish which form was submitted based on the page URL, because when the event is sent, Google Analytics also automatically tracks the page URL. Therefore, by looking at this, I would be able to say which form was submitted. In fact, if I submitted the form once again, and I did the inspect element here, somewhere higher in the document object model, I would be able to see the form ID. For example, here I have the form ID. 
So technically with JavaScript, I could fetch the form ID, but this goes out of scope of this lesson. But don't worry because for the next week, I plan to record a more advanced video where I will explain how to access this kind of information with JavaScript when you are tracking an element that looks like a success message right here. Anyway, let's go back to Google Tag Manager and we have inserted the form name. Now we need to select the trigger. Click anywhere in the triggering section and select your visibility trigger because this will fire only when the success message will appear on the website. And then let's name this tag and click save. Let's test if this is working properly. So click preview to refresh the preview mode. Then let's go to the website and submit the form. Here I click the button, I see the success message. And if I go back to the Google Tag Manager preview mode, I see the element visibility event. I can click it and I see that my tag has fired. And now I could go to admin, then debug view. And eventually that event should appear in the preview mode. And here is that event. If I click it, I will see the page location. And based on the dimensions such as page path or page location in my reports, I would be able to distinguish where that form was submitted. So once you have tested everything and made sure that this is working properly, then you will need to click submit and publish your Google Tag Manager container changes. After that it's done, Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics will start tracking the submissions of this form made by visitors of your website. And that's how you can track form submissions with the element visibility trigger in Google Tag Manager. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.